What is going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pops here back at it again with another video I apologize for missing three days of videos, but you know it's a new week new ideas new everything today in this video I'm going to be talking about Siri shortcuts. I don't think you guys should be sleeping on this whatsoever um, Siri shortcuts is basically you could you know tweak up your phone in a sense without jailbreaking It's like tweaks, but it's just making your apps ten times better supercharging your applications now uh, shortcuts is an application you can download for free um, so you just search up shortcuts I throw a link in the description and you guys could just download it just like that now when you launch up the app it's gonna be completely blank and um, basically all this stuff is just actions that your device can do so it's like if this then that <coughs> and now for example I have a bunch of actions here that I'm gonna share with you guys I have over 20 shortcuts and yeah, let's just use this one for example. So sleep, let's say it's nighttime, it's time for bed. You just tap on this. It lowers down the brightness on my device and enable low power mode. And it also dims down the, that's it, dim down the brightness, lower down the volume. Um, and it also turns off my light. Now I have a bunch of lights on right now just for this video, uh, but it's very, very convenient. And then now if it's the next morning, you can just tap on I'm awake. Now the beauty thing with shortcuts, you can actually have a widget. So you guys can see here, I have my widgets here. So you have all the widgets here. And it's very, very convenient. Let me just zoom that in so you guys can see. So you don't have to launch up the app every time to um, perform these actions. And the beauty thing about it is you can even use Siri. It works sometimes. I don't use Siri. So yeah, my, my Siri on my device is bugging for whatever reason. But you can use other Siri devices. So I have my HomePod. So I'm going to say the key command. Hey, Siri, sleep. Okay, and then look, it's done. Um, I'm not sure why I say you need to continue on iPhone. I hope I didn't take too long and bored you guys, but um, I just wanted to show you guys an example before I even show you guys these amazing shortcuts. But anyway, um, so I showed you guys sleep and I'm awake. Now I have this one. Now this one is very, very convenient for me, especially if I make like a lot of these um, device videos. So um, for example, if you guys want to get this wallpaper, um, I can easily get the link for this wallpaper with one tap. So what I'm going to do is we're going to launch that back up. Let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to tap on the photo that I want. And it is this one. It's the latest one. And you can select multiple photos. So I can also select this one too as well. And this is from the iPad promo. Um, so I'm going to just tap on done. And now once I tap on done, you can have a title. So I'm going to name it um, Shortcuts. Yeah, Shortcuts Wallpaper is fine. And then once you name it or give it a title, you tap on done or done on the top here. And then now what it's going to do is it's going to get that link for me. And it's automatically going to um, copy it you know, to my clipboard. So now if I want to share the wallpaper link, I can easily go into the comments. I can just tap on it and I could just paste and now that link, let me just go into Safari. And now once I paste it, all those wallpapers are there. Shortcut wallpapers. And it is just easy like that. Now, now there's supposed to be another page. It only saved one. Wow, that's a fail. <laughs> and I normally only use one image because it's only one wallpaper I use. So I really don't do two wallpapers at a time. So, um, yeah, so that's... That's the image one. Um, just easily get the link so you guys can get it. Now, this next one here is police. Now, police is basically like, all right, let's say you get pulled over, right? The cop is actually, I don't know, acting for ID or whatever. Now, once you get pulled over, you tap on this or you can, you know, you can also do it with the control center here too. Uh, and just tap on police. So now it's automatically going to dim your device. It's going to actually send a message, right? Now, you can set this if you want. But it's a video recording. So now, and it's using a front-facing camera. And you guys can see, do not disturb is enabled. Um, so we can use the video. And then now what it's going to do is you can send this message. Right? And here's the here's the send the message option. So you can set, um, yep, and, here, and there's the notification right there. You guys can see. All right, police interaction. It's a lot going on here. Um, so it could be very, very handy um, because nowadays, man, police is doing some crazy, sh you know, I don't want to curse, but, you know, the police is doing some crazy stuff. 
All right, so the next up we have Amazon price history. So now if I go into the Amazon application, so right now Super Smash Brothers is coming out next month for this Nintendo Switch. Quick, let's go to this one. This one for $40. Just gotta get the Amazon link. So I'm gonna go to share. I'm gonna go to uh, shortcuts. And then we're gonna go into price history. Um, so right now it's just gonna get the information and it's gonna show that price history. So now if I zoom in, the price was sixty dollars oh wait all right so forty dollars is pretty it's consistent so consistently forty dollars um at one point it was sixty dollars so right now this is the best time to buy it now next up we have convert video to gif or gif i must just say gif as you guys can see these are all my videos so i have some halloween videos here so i'm gonna select this one with me with the mask um we can edit the video so we gotta crop it up because you know gifs or gifs you know they normally not that long so I was at a little Halloween party here. Save it like that. It really don't even matter to me. And now it's a GIF. That's a pretty cool GIF too. I ain't gonna lie. Let me zoom that in. Yeah, I had like a light up mask. I, I, that was so much fun. Perfect for Twitter. You know, it's just perfect for sharing. You know? Now this next one here is actually pretty unique. Now let's say you you in a store, right? Best Buy, for example. And you see something that costs $100. For example, um, Gorilla Pie. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. Because this tripod here. Is a, um, well, the tripod next to me is a Gorilla Pod. Um, let's say you want to compare the prices to Amazon. So for example, I'm going to get this, right? So I need some new shea butter. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'm in Walgreens. I want to compare the prices. So I'm gonna tap on that. I mean, I should really compare this, but okay. We're going to just scan. The so now look, I have the shea butter. It costs $7 here, which is not bad at all. I think this thing normally costs, I don't know how much this thing normally costs, uh, maybe like $9. So yeah. So basically you're just comparing the prices and can come in really handy if you want to save some money. Um, just make sure you're not getting ripped off somewhere. Now, SMD, <laughs> that thing really says SMD. SMD stands for Social Media Downloader. So, yeah, SMD. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think that stands for. I know what it stands for. I'm just saying. Um, but SMD um, is going to allow you to download YouTube videos, Instagram photos. Um, so, for example, if I go into my YouTube, let's go into the YouTube application. Um, you can download any YouTube video. So we're going to go to my channel, show some love, subscribe. If you guys want to see more tech videos and more other videos, um, let's say I want to download my iOS battery test video. I'm going to copy the link or you can even uh, do more if you're on the YouTube application and you can just open it up through shortcuts. Now, once you do that, you can just tap on SMD. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. You tap on that. And then it's going to launch up everything. It's going to get the download link. And it's just automatically going to download the video. Now, it only... It, the maximum resolution, as you guys can see, is only 720p. And this will save directly to your camera roll. So, very, very, very handy. Um, and you can save or you can open. But I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And I can't believe we could do this on iOS. No jailbreak required. You can download any, any YouTube video. Um, and same thing that goes with um, Instagram. If I launch up Instagram, I want to save a photo. Um, so let's say I want to save this. Uh, so all I got to do is copy the link. And then we can go there. And then look, there it is right there. So it's whatever link is copied, that's, the, that's what it's going to get it. And then you just tap on that and you can save. Where's the save? There you go. And that's how you do it. And now if I go on my camera roll again, um, and here's IMDB rating. Now this one here, you just type in any movie. So for example, I'm going to type in The Strangers. That's the first thing that comes to mind. The Strangers is like a scary movie. And it's going to give you that rating. So type in any movie, get the rating right there instantaneously. Now next up, we have Discount Calculator. So now let's say you're shopping. You type in the price. So um, I'm going to type in 300 and then now you have the discounted price. So let's say it's 30% off, which is not bad. $90. So it tell you the exact amount right there. You save $90, but the real price is going to be $210. Next up, we have days until. So days until, it just shows how many days until that day. So the starting day, for example, I'm going to pick today, which is November 5th. And then I'm going to go next month. 
uh, December 4th. Okay, so 29 days. We have calculate tips. So let's say it really don't even have to be food. You know, it could be car wash too. So you could just enter in the amount. Let's say it costs $100. Um, and it shows the percentage how much you want to tip. So um, I don't know, maybe 12%, the lowest. You would tip $12. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, it's just calculating the tip and it shows the exact percentage that you would like to give. And, yo, know, this next one is pretty interesting. It might be one of my favorites right here. Um, so, the word count is a YouTube one. So, if I go into a YouTube video, right, share, copy, and then I'm going to launch back up the shortcuts. Um, and then we're going to go to word count. Now, this one here just shows how many times. I said that specific word. So now you could type in anything and it'll give you that word count. So for example, I say guys a lot. So, you know, I might say, what's up guys? Simply pops in. This is how you do it, guys. So now what this does is going to automatically detect how many times I said guys. So in that video, I said guys 12 times. This comes in really handy if someone says how many times I said this. Um, let me know. Let me know down in the comments down below. Now, this next shortcut is very, very, very handy too. Um, you always have that one person who asks for the Wi-Fi code. Now, this one here is just very, very simple. And some routers you have that really long code. You don't need to do that no more. With this shortcut, you just tap tap on it. Uh, I don't even know if I should censor out this code or not. And that is your Wi-Fi right there. So now all you gotta do is just take your device and just hover over that um, that QR code right there. So you can just launch up the camera application and you can just use a QR. So for example, damn, I hope I'm not going all over the place. So this is a QR reader. You can just launch up your camera application. You don't even need no special app or nothing like that. And you could just scan the QR like that. There it is, it popped up. Now I can buy that product right there, but in this case, it's going to automatically connect to that Wi-Fi using that QR code. Now next up is taking off. Now taking off, all it is, it's going to enable um, airplane mode and it's going to enable um, low power mode too as well and enable um, do not disturb. So I don't know, maybe you, you, you're in an airplane, you're watching a movie, you want the best battery life as possible. This is the mode to enable. And landing is... The complete opposite is just going to turn off everything um, and it's going to put everything back to normal. Um, next up is download file. Now, so this could be anything. It could be um, websites, HTMLs, as you guys can see. Uh, it just, like those little download links, all you got to do is just tap and hold and copy that download link and just and, um, activate the shortcut and you can install it onto your iPhone or onto your iCloud drive. And make PDF is fairly similar. With this one, you just... You just make it as a PDF. So for example, and you can also save it to, to put the cherry on top. You can save it into your device files. Yeah, do whatever you want with it. So that's save PDF. And that's pretty much all I got. I actually got to leave here. I looked at the time like, whoa, I got to leave here at 12 o'clock. <laughs> I got 10 minutes to leave here. So I'm going to wrap up this video. I just want to quickly show you guys the shortcuts. Don't sleep on this one. Install it. Give it a shot. It's very simple to install each shortcut. All you got to do is just tap on the link. Make sure it's in Safari. Um, you do not want to open it up on the YouTube browser. Um, it has to be through Safari. And all you got to do is just tap on Install Shortcut. And you'll have it just like that. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more tech content and more lit content. I make all kinds of videos here. And yet again, I apologize for missing um, three days. So, um, yeah, it won't happen again. But I can't guarantee that. I don't want to lie. Um, so, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a simple day. Peace.